Pneumoma peritoneae or PMP is as rare and complicated a disease as the name itself. What Pseudomyxoma peritoneae means is a collection of jelly in the abdominal cavity. There is a tumour that produces a jelly-like substance that fills up the entire abdominal cavity. Essentially, there are small mucinous tumours over the entire peritoneum or a part of it that secrete a jelly-like substance called mucin. PMP is a very rare disease. About 2 to 3 people of every million will develop this tumour. Usually, it is a appendix tumour that is the main cause of PMP. In 95% of the patients, there is a jelly-like or mucinous tumour in the appendix. This jelly fills up the entire appendix and it grows in size. It reaches a point where the tumour ruptures and spills all the mucin in the peritoneal cavity, producing mucinous implants over the entire peritoneum and a jelly-like substance that fills the abdominal cavity. There are other tumours that can also produce PMP like ovarian tumours, tumours of the colon and rectum, tumours of the pancreas and rarely tumours arising from the urinary bladder. When the tumour is confined to the appendix, it may or may not produce symptoms. Very often, it produces pain on the right side of the abdomen, just like acute appendicitis, and it may be discovered during surgery performed for suspected acute appendicitis. In other patients, the tumour does not produce any symptoms till a very advanced stage. The appendiceal tumour ruptures silently and spills the mucin in the peritoneal cavity. As the mucin increases in size, the abdomen gradually swells. At a very advanced stage, when the entire abdominal cavity is filled with mucin, there can be huge distension of the abdomen, resulting in discomfort, difficulty in breathing. There may be weakness, loss of appetite and weight loss. But all these symptoms are seen at a very advanced stage. There are two ways in which PMP is diagnosed. When the patient has no symptoms and tests are performed for some other reason. For example, there could be pain in any part of the abdomen or there could be some urinary infection or in women there could be some gynecological problems for which some scans or blood tests are performed and the tumour is incidentally picked up. Ultrasound and CT scan may raise the suspicion of the presence of a mucinous tumour in the abdominal cavity. The confirmatory test for establishing the diagnosis of PMP is a biopsy. It can be performed once again under ultrasound or CT guidance. The main treatment for PMP is cytoreductive surgery and HIPEC. Before this treatment was available, patients were treated with systemic chemotherapy or with supportive care and survived a few months or few years. With cytoreductive surgery and HIPEC, even in a very advanced stage, the tumour can be completely removed and results in a prolonged survival. The average survival of these patients could be anything from 5 to 10 to 15 years. The survival depends on three factors. The first one is the type of PMP. There are some PMPs which are of low grade, that is low growing. There are others which are of high grade, that is fast growing. The low-grade tumours result in a longer survival. With the high-grade tumours, the survival is comparatively less. The second important factor is the extent of disease in the peritoneal cavity. When the disease is limited, the survival is longer. When the disease is more extensive or voluminous, the survival is comparatively less. The third important factor is the quality of the surgery that is performed. A good surgery in which the surgeon has removed the tumour completely from all potential sites will result in a longer survival. When some amount of disease is left behind or cannot be removed, the survival is shorter. Music 